It's coffee time. Oh, I'm so tired. Morning, friends. Hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. It is Sunday morning. Woke up at seven o'clock this morning. I don't know why. So because I'm so tired and because it's so early, I thought this would be a great time to test and review the Bodrum Chambord French Press. We got this last weekend for Katie's bridal shower and I have been dying all week to use it and now I finally have an opportunity to and I'm really excited to test it out. I have never made French press coffee before. I've only had French press coffee one time and it was at the Kona Cafe in Disney World at the Polynesian Resort. Probably the best coffee I have ever had before. In addition to the Tonga Toast, if you're ever at the Kona Cafe, you have to try it. It is fantastic. So I'm really excited to test this out. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do. This is in French. I'm really excited to up my coffee game. I, I don't know if I really have much of a refined coffee palette other than I know that good coffee tastes good. We're not using great coffee today. I really would have liked to get some better coffee, but we didn't really have a chance. So I'm using the like Whole Foods brand Allegro organic Mexico. We're gonna compare it against the just drip coffee maker back there. Let's get to pressing. I need some coffee. Detailed instructions. Scoop. Um, I'm also just realizing that when my sister moved out, she took the tea kettle with her, so I need to figure out how to heat up the water for this. I figured out the water situation. The coffee maker has a hot water dispenser. Voila! Water's heating up. I'm gonna put the coffee in this and get it ready. Step one, place pot on a dry, flat, non-slip surface. Hold a handle firmly. Pull the plunger unit straight up and out of the pot. One rounded scoop of coffee for each cup of water. One, two, two and a half. I need to pour hot but not boiling water into here. Um, and it's ready, perfect timing. I added the water, the camera wasn't recording. Look at that frothy goodness, oh it looks beautiful. I had to cook it, cook it. I had to brew it for four minutes. We're about halfway done. We're just sitting here and waiting and wishing for this coffee to be done because I need it. Got no energy. I need my coffee. It's coffee time. All right, so now I think I like, I plunge it. I push the thing down, plunge it. I have to hold it firmly with the spout turned away from me. I guess they don't want it to like shoot out at you. Here we go. Ooh. That wasn't as satisfying as I thought it was gonna be because I don't think I have enough water in here. I was really hoping to like push it through some more resistance. <laughs> I think it's ready. So we've got, I already poured it. The drip coffee is in the wa winter waffle land here and the French press is gonna be in salt and straw here. Ooh. I used two cups of water and it made one cup of, one big cup of coffee. Usually drink my coffee with just a little bit of half and half. I'll probably put some in eventually, but to start out just to get a pure taste, I'm gonna go with the black coffee. We're gonna start with the drip coffee because that's what I'm used to, that's what I normally drink. Um, get the baseline down. It's very scientific here. Oh, it smells good. It's good. It's uh, like I said, I don't have a very refined palate, so I don't really get the like tasting notes all the time. Sometimes I do. This is supposed to be creamy pecan milk chocolate. I guess I can kind of taste the chocolate a little bit. It is pretty creamy. It's very smooth. Uh, not very bitter at all, even without the cream. And now the moment of truth, the French press Mexico coffee. Oh, it definitely tastes, has a much different taste. I made it too weak. The drip maker, I tend to make very strong coffee. Um, this is a little watery, very smooth. 
It is just a little weaker though. Um, but I think that's just because it's the first time I've ever used this. Yeah. So I'm getting used to it. I think I used way too much water and not enough coffee. For my preferences, uh, the directions make weak coffee. It's hard to give a final verdict because I kind of, eh, I kind of messed it up. So for now, the win is going to go to the drip in the winter waffle land with salt and straw in a close second here with the French press. I think if I did, if I used more water, actually if I used more coffee, I used too much water I think was my problem. Um, it would probably turn out a little bit better, but it was a fun process to make. It makes me feel real fancy. It's like an experience, even if I kind of screwed up the coffee a little bit. So this has been my first coffee review. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You learned how to kind of not make French press coffee. I'm gonna enjoy both of these cups of coffee now. I need a double straw. Oh, I wonder if I mix them up, they'd be good. Hmm. But thank you. Remember to create the life that you love. We'll see you later. Bye.